everybody, welcome back. In just a few minutes, we're going to put ketchup on a diet. No, I mean, we're going to catch up on diet. So hang with me. Okay, it's time to get back into our diet, so I'm going to go through this with no editing, so bear with me, you know, all the mistakes. I think we left off where we were making the tuna fish, and if you want to, if you don't like tomatoes, my sister was telling me to take an apple, chop that up in small pieces, and put that in there instead of tomato. It tastes really good. Um, I haven't tried it because of the carbs in the apple, but it's something to try out. As I was telling you before, I went to the doctor. I did get some results in. Uh, my blood pressure is down. Yay me. Uh, probably about 15 points, which is good. Uh, nothing miraculous, but it's down. Triglycerides and cholesterol are down a little bit. That's going to take a little bit more time. Uh, but the big crux of this is in, I think it was 14 weeks or somewhere right in there, I lost 38 pounds. Um, and that's about three and a half pounds a week, which is really good. Then I got off the diet for a while because I wanted to see if anything changed, either my weight or the triglycerides or the cholesterol or whatever. So... You know, the last 10 weeks, I haven't really done much. I've been eating all the foods I want to eat. I've been trying to keep them small. The good thing is I haven't gained any weight. I'm still at about 262 pounds, and I ate what I like. The bad thing is, is it's very tempting. And, you know, you bring home a pizza, and you say, well, I'll eat two pieces, and that'll be it. Next thing you know, you'll wipe down a whole pizza. And then you got to do a bunch of exercise or something to make up for it. It's, you know, it's very tempting. Um, also, it messes with your you know, your internals, and you get kind of weird because you're switching back and forth. But with all that being said, I then looked at my cholesterol. It stayed about the same. My triglycerides stayed about the same uh, because I wasn't going crazy. I was just eating smaller portions. Um, you know, I didn't gain any weight, but I didn't lose any weight either, even though I was eating a lot smaller portions because the food I was eating had more calories and had carbs and had fats and all that other good stuff. So, you know, it sounds to me, it's like, a, you know, eh, either way I go, if I, if I do the first part of the diet, I really got to focus and I got to be real stringent and I lose weight. Um, and then once I'm out of it, I can do the other part, which sounds easier, but it's really not because, you know, on one hand, I was really, you know, having to focus on the diet. But now on the other hand, I have to focus on smaller portions, still eating three times a day, you know, and it. It just gets kind of nerve-wracking, so I'm going back now that my body's, you know, got into shock, lost all that weight, lost, you know, came back, and uh, now it's back to kind of normal. I'm going back to the diet, and we're going to try to go work on this next 40 pounds because I wanted to lose 80 pounds total, so I've lost 38, give or take 40 to go. Um, another thing I wanted to comment on is making things a little easier. In a couple videos down the road, I'll tell you exactly what I'm eating every day. You pretty much know I'm having bacon and eggs, you know, two strips of bacon, two eggs every morning. I was having either a salad or a hamburger or something for lunch, and then at night, whatever I didn't have for lunch, I had at night, like hamburger or salad. And I pretty much stuck to that. I know it's plain and it's boring, uh, but, you know, it worked for me. It may not work for you. Um, on days that I was not eating a lot of meat, I was eating the coconut oil about a teaspoon a day or a tablespoon a day, depending on, you know, if or, if I did or did not have meat. Now I'm hardly doing any coconut oil except for when I'm getting out and I want to have a little energy. I'll take a teaspoon with a T-E-A, teaspoon, and I'll feel that little burst of energy. Now that's something I normally didn't feel a whole lot before. Um, I, you know, I've lost some weight. The pressure's off my joints. And I can actually feel when I do a little caffeine now or eat some of that coconut oil fat, get that little boost of power. Um, and I didn't used to have those. So, you know, that's good. Uh, overall, my joints feel better. You know, my clothes are obviously starting to get a loose. I got the old turkey neck going, which, you know, is kind of good. Hopefully I've got to work on the skin. Um, but, it's, but it's going okay, guys, you know, so we'll get it going again. I wanted to mention another time saver. Um, that I'm doing is, is before with the vinegar and oil and all that, you know, I'm mixing up batch by batch. Now if you take a 32 ounce jar of lemon juice and a 32 ounce jar of the apple cider vinegar, you know, two quarts, and put that in a gallon jug and then fill that the rest of the way, 
you know, you don't have to mix it up every time. Just fill that the rest of the way with water. So what I do now is, if I was first on my diet, that's 16, 16 cups. So when I was doing it by the tablespoon, I'm not going to get into big math here, that quart of lemon juice and quart of vinegar cider would last about 28, 30 days. If you mix it this way, you know, once you're on your diet, when you first start it, you know, to get everything going the first couple of weeks, you'll want to drink like a half a cup in the morning and a half a cup, you know, at night. And that'll take up 16 cups in about two weeks. Once you get past two or three weeks, then knock that down to like a quarter cup in the morning and a quarter cup at dinner, you know, at night. Um, and that'll, you don't have to mix it every day. So that's working out pretty good. So the two eggs, two bacon in the morning, I'll show you how to make a salad later. I didn't show you that yet, how I make mine, and there's different things. Um, but, you know, that's for lunch or breakfast, and then I either have hamburger or sausage or something like that. Um, I can't do the pasta, and tomatoes aren't really great, you know, in a no-carb diet, but I have put, like, you know, stewed tomatoes and some spaghetti sauce and a big onion and some sausage and some hamburger and a couple cans of vegetables, which also has high carbs, but I put all that in a big crock pot and let it mix up and some powdered chili stuff, you know, to mix. And that actually, you know, I'll have a cup of that or two cups and that'll last all week, just like when I make the big tuna salad or the big salad. So that's kind of a little variation in there. Uh, so we'll start eating three times a day, doing the, you know, the vinegar and oil again. You know, as far as the vinegar and oil goes, um, you know, I can't really say if it helps or doesn't help. It gets me into a routine that's good. Um, it does at night help me with some acid reflux. I don't have that. I used to wake up a couple times. Uh, that's gone. Um, my joints obviously are better, but that's, I think, because of weight. And that numbing in my fingers and that little icy hot sensations I used to have, um, you know, that went away. Now, I don't know if that's because of the weight or the vinegar and oil, but when I got off of the diet, stopped doing the vinegar and oil, you know, that didn't change. And so the arthritic stuff didn't change or any of that. So I really don't know if the vinegar oil is working, but I know that the vinegar and oil is helping me with like digestion and acid reflux kind of stuff. And so I'm going to stay doing it. But I also, you know, I just know that when you get into a routine, your body gets used to that. So, you know, I'll do this for six, eight weeks again, and then I'll stop and just do the maintenance kind of maintain thing. And then maybe get back to it and we'll see how that works out. So guys, I appreciate you hanging with me. Hey everybody, I've got a couple quick announcements, so please watch this until the end. If I mentioned the product and said I put a link, that's down there in the description area. Just click on that little description bar, it'll pop open and then you can hit the link. While you're down there, leave a comment. I may not be able to answer them, but some of my subs may. So it's always nice to leave a comment. And of course, I like you, you like me. You gotta leave the thumbs up and hit that. That's all right down there. In addition, if I was talking about a YouTube channel or a YouTuber or a video you may like, it's going to pop up over here. If you're on a big screen TV, you may not see it. But you can click on that and go right to the YouTube channel or YouTuber that I was talking about. Of course, YouTube will then put a video up here for you to watch that will probably be pretty entertaining. And once again, hit the subscribe button. Okay? I need your help. I need your support. And it all goes with subscribing and likes.